Before we hit the intertidal zone in Bali, we actually chanced upon a turtle sanctuary and we were really lucky because there was a release session for baby turtles that day! We're here at Bali's turtle sanctuary where they actually help to save turtle eggs and wait for it to hatch and then you can release them into water and thankfully today there will be a turtle release session! We're gonna wait and release the baby turtles! They are the olive ridley turtles. They are endangered species and they seem to come here and nest quite often. So what the people do is they actually went to keep the eggs and protect the eggs until it hatches and then we release them quickly so they have a higher rate of survival. It looks like we can explore there. There seems to be things there. Let's go down. Yeah. This is a coral skeleton, a dead coral skeleton. You can see the every circular circle, right? It's actually coral lights, meaning individual polyps of the coral they'll grow and they all contribute to form this huge coral skeleton. You see the same by people walking street. Let's go ahead and take a look at Hello. And Jay, is there a reason why they find turtles laying eggs here? I think it's a good location for turtles. You can see right there's like an elevated area here with vegetation covering. So turtles who probably like to lay their eggs there where it's protected and covered. Turtles have evolved an instinct to return to where they hatched to lay the next batch of eggs and some species can travel up to 6,000 kilometers just so they can pluck out the next generation of turtles. I look away for a second and she's like all the way there already. Alright, let's go. Uh. Huh. There's nothing much? Yeah lah. Okay la. As you grow across the other side. That's not. Okay. We are not in the proper proper gear today. Okay, let's go. We're only here for turtles. Turtles. Okay, I'm a bit tired. I'll sit down and eat coconut. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Nama yeah, yeah, young coconut. Young coconut, yeah. Yeah, and watermelon juice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this two. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. When mama turtles arrive on the shores, they will start to dig a hole using its hind legs to deposit the eggs. And this usually takes around one to three hours. Can you hear the announcement? It's time to head to the turtle sanctuary. Let's go. They won't survive without your help. Save the nature, save the baby turtle. We're queuing to get like, I think a number to release the turtle. I think we're gonna get one small turtle each. Ah! Thank you. So the huge turtle statue behind me is actually an area where they have a, a pile of sand and where they keep the turtle eggs. Depending on the species, sea turtles can lay anywhere between 20 to over 100 eggs, which will incubate in the warm sand for around 60 days before hatching into baby turtles. You can see the turtles from here. Oh, I can't. Oh, the babies are all they're flipping There are batches of sea turtle nests, and there's a date where it was laid, there's a species name, there's a rough date where it was hatched. Why do the turtles lay their eggs the same? Well, there are several reasons, but for one, it's for protection, and two, it's for warmth. The sand provides a very warm condition for the turtle eggs to incubate and then hatch. Most importantly, turtles are reptiles, so the embryos actually breathe through their lungs. If you lay them in the water, right, water will constantly cover the eggs and there's no air for the embryos developing inside to breathe. But under the sand, there's still pockets of air that goes through the sand particles so they can still breathe through the eggshell and the membrane. Turtles. Okay, move further up, further up. Show your token. Okay, everybody have a token, thank you. Let's go for that, okay, be nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do I know if this is a boy or a girl? Uh, you won't know. But interestingly, right, it actually depends on the temperature. If it's uh, higher than a certain temperature, actually it's female. Lower, below a certain temperature, it's a male. So it's called a temperature-dependent sex determination. Survive, right? For every 1,000 baby turtles, only one of them will survive to your adulthood. And as the world gets more polluted and life gets a bit harsher, the odds may be even lower than before as our sea turtles face a lifetime of threats. So it is important that we try to increase the survival rates of every little shed one you see here, even if it is just by a little bit, to ensure that this beautiful creature will exist for many years to come. Hey. <laughs> Purple eggs are often poached for illegal wildlife trade, mainly to be sold as a delicacy. It has been reported that on many Central American beaches, poachers destroy more than 90% of sea turtle nests just for the eggs, and this number could be higher in Southeast Asia, which is why conservation effort like this is important. The turtles are back in the ocean, and 
once they become adults, they will come back on land to lay their eggs because that's their instincts to lay at the same area where they, are hatch, where they hatch from. And the cycle continues. That's all for today. Just keep thinking.